The BRIGHT study is a randomized phase 3 trial that's comparing bendamustine and rituximab to RCHOP or RCVP in patients with indolent or mantle cell lymphoma that have no prior therapy. So this study, we, we, result, we, we presented the um, initial results a number of years ago. And the primary endpoint was complete remission rate. And in, those, in that study, in that presentation, we showed that the BR regimen, bendamustine and rituximab, was non-inferior to RCHOP or RCVP in this setting, where the complete remission rate was 31% versus 25%. Today I'm presenting the results of the long-term follow-up of that study where patients have been followed for at least five years. In this study we, we, we show that the progression-free survival, duration response, um, and event-free survival is superior for patients who um, receive bendamustine and rituximab versus the RCHOP or RCVB um, uh, combination chemotherapies. What was not superior was there was no difference in overall survival. And so it looks to me like both, both regimens or both approaches are, um, are reasonable in this patient population. Now the effects were more pronounced in patients who received, had mantle cell lymphoma compared to, to indolent lymphoma, and there there's the very wide margin of improvement in progression-free um, survival. We also saw some differences um, in, in um, adverse events. So for instance, there was more um, second malignancies in patients who received bendamustine and rituximab. And this is a bit of a surprising result. So when we dive down into what were the particular malignancies, what we saw was a lot of these malignancies were actually skin cancer, squamous cell carcinoma or basal cell carcinoma. And when we remove that, um, and as well as um, lymphomas, other lymphomas, um, there was still a difference, but it was not statistically significant uh, uh, difference. There were still numerically more patients who had a second malignancy in the BR arm com compared to the, the control arm. Um, and so that was, um, so I think that this is important, important data. It gives confidence that um, the differences that we saw early on are maintained uh, to, this, to this date. There are differences in the immediate toxicities, of course, with BR versus RCHOP or RCBP. Those differences are with BR, we see an increase in hypersensitivity reactions. Um, with bendamustine rituximab, we see an increase in nausea and vomiting and in lymphopenia. But with RCHOP and RCVP, we're seeing um, increased incidence of alopecia. Of course, you know, everyone with RCHOP is going to have alopecia. There's an increased incidence of, of peripheral neuropathies um, as well, as well as leukopenia or neutropenia. So there's a difference in toxicity of profile, um, and there's a difference in, in progression-free survival, but not an overall survival difference. So I think this is important information for doctors and their patients when making the decision of what to use as frontline therapy.